Hey everyone, this is Green Gully bringing you part two in my setup video um, on how to record gameplay. This is going to be focused more on the software. Part one was the hardware side of things with the cables. So, what we need now is to open the PVR recording software. And you'll see, um, I'm just using most of the default settings. The audio side of things, um, it can post-process to an MP4 file. Um, I don't use this because I think it uh, makes the video jump a little bit. So I'll just switch that off. The video encoder, yeah, slide that all the way. It usually starts at the middle. So slide that all the way to the to the end, to the crazy setting. And then uh, you open up Audacity. I like to move the windows around so that the record button and the record button on the on the PVR is close to each other so I can quickly hit record and record at the same time. So yeah, so you just hit record, start recording your voice. I don't obviously have the PVR plugged in, but yeah, you hit record on that as well. And you just record and record and record. I'll stop that now and then you hit stop on that and then uh, that's it you're done with the HD PVR record software so you can close that off and then this is where all the magic happens in audacity you can see we're on stereo thing we've got two channels the left and right uh, you'll have your party voice in one channel and your voice in the other. Your voice will be really faint. So what you need to do is split that channel up. You would naturally think that you would split it into stereo tracks, but no, don't do that. You want to split it into two monos. And then you can just increase the volume in one channel and uh, you know decrease or increase the one in the next channel. So you get them roughly the same. Um, once you've got that sorted, then you just export the audio track out to an MP3 file. I'm just going to save it as test. Um, and this will be mixed down into a single mono channel, which is what you want. So you won't get um, a voice appearing in the left channel and a voice appearing in the right channel. So once you've done that, you finish with the Audacity, and you can move on to iMovie. That's what I use to do my clips with. Uh, so you just make a new project. I'm just going to call it Test. Uh, import the clips that you need. I've got a couple in here already. So I'll just drag that up into the new project. Change. And then I drop the game volume down to about, you know, 30, 40%. Just so it doesn't overpower the voice. You can then drag in your test MP3 file to wherever you want it. Um, you can also drag it in and place it up top which will cover the whole entire clip but I don't do that because I don't think it gives you much uh, room to move so I just place it at the start and then you can move it around to wherever you need it and sync up the, um, the audio with the video a lot easier so I'll place it there, you can even drag it in 
if you don't want the audio and move it around. Uh, increase the audio volume or decrease it, whatever you like. And then just have a quick run through, make sure you got it all synced up. You can move it around to wherever you think that they, the voice should start at in comparison to the to the clip. You just recheck. And then um, you can export the movie. Go up to share, export movie, export it out to a MOV at the highest quality that you can. I like the 720p because people with iPhones and smartphones can view it then. Then hit export. The export usually takes uh, a fair while. This one here is saying, what, 15, 16 minutes. So I'm, I'll just go cancel that, but you'd let it go. And that's all you need to do with uh, iMovie. So basically, that's it. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, I hope that's uh, answered a few of the questions from your my previous tutorial. And here comes the shameless plug. Visit Green Gully's YouTube channel. The address is in the address bar up the top. I'll zoom in so you can have a, a closer look. If you like the video, make sure you leave some feedback and um, that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope this has answered all of your questions. I'll see you later.